Hey guys, what's up? As you know, I just deleted all 21 of my starter uh, summer slash fall mailbags. And um, because of just copyright concerns and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is put all of the mailbags up in one gigantic video. So if you want to see all the questions I've asked through all the summer and fall and um, how the mailbag has been, see the first ever mailbag ever, I'm going to put them all up in one video, starting right now. Well, hello guys. Welcome to my TGG Gaming mailbag that I'm starting up today because I'm just that bored so I'm just going through my swap note notifications and seeing if anybody's asking me any questions lately and uh, it counts as mail and I'm gonna answer some questions from YouTube and other chat sites as well so let's get into this alright so um, ooh Gorgy asks do you like Netflix for the 3DS? well answer to you Gorgy is Eh, yeah, I logged over 60 hours on it, and I think it's pretty good. Though it's not my favorite system to watch Netflix on. Obviously, the, uh, obviously, the TV version's my number one pick, but next to that on gaming system, it has to be the Xbox 360, which I have uh, all set up over there. But for handheld, either iPod, no, no iPhone, or uh, 3DS always works for me. Um, I mean, sometimes it pixels up on 3DS, but yeah, I like it on 3DS. Netflix is pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Any more questions? Okay. Um, Colin asks, is Heroes of Ruin the best 3DS demo up to date? Eh, I f don't know. I don't think so. Okay. The first, uh, the first, uh, the three, the first 3DS demo I've ever played, um, was the Nintendogs uh, Plus Cats one, which I think it was pretty good. Um, in uh, honest opinion, I think the Batman one's pretty good, but the Heroes of Ruin one is really good, and the Rhythm Thief one is really, really good. I think that's the best one up to date. Um, for Heroes of Ruin, eh, I'd give it second or third on that list. Yeah, for that. Um, yeah, since I'm just starting this up today, I'm gonna only answer three or four questions. Uh, let's answer another one. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh. Ooh, another question from Cassie about the Netflix. Is Netflix for 3DS worth it? And let's see if anything else. Is anything... Is anything 3D and does it load fast? Well, Cassie, it's totally worth it. And it's free. And, yeah unless you don't have enough space it's worth it is it 3d no nothing's 3d only um, only uh, the loading page is 3d and I, I think the menu page is 3d but nothing you can watch on there is 3d it's just like the normal Netflix it's 2d and it it depends on your Wi-Fi connection if it loads fast I mean eh. for me it kind of lo it, it's it's medium it's medium fast yeah um I mean five bars on your Wi-Fi you know um, it, it, it loads me in fast. I mean, it's pretty fast, um, uh, for Netflix. Um, is it faster than a console? In my words, no, because the console has more hard drive, hardware, uh, software stuff in it that can make it go way faster than just a normal, uh, a normal handheld, uh, thing to watch Netflix on. Like your iPod, iPhone, uh, any other phone or 3DS, it, it doesn't load that fast and, um, as fast as a console would. Um, so, yeah, Cassie, thanks for sending that in to me. Um, yeah, it's worth it, if you don't, if you have memory, of course. Um, any more questions? Wait, wait, what is it? Update, you know. Oh, yeah, guys. Update your swap note. You get different colors. Just, just, just notice that. Uh, answer my what? Oh, okay. You can get the answer that. Okay, that's that's not it. Okay, I should probably just speed up. 
Um, well, that's it. Um, guys, send questions to me. I really need questions. Send it into the comments on my YouTube page or in the comments below. And please, subscribe up there. Please, just... It's up there. Please, don't... Please, just subscribe. Please, subscribe. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to beg. Um, yeah, just send questions in. I'll answer them. And, um, yeah. Hope you can check out my future mailbag episodes. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Well, hey, guys. Welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag. And I really have to thank you guys for answer for giving me questions. Uh, yesterday, and um, you know, I talked to some of you guys uh, last night um, that like gave me the questions, and uh, you guys discussed what you guys were doing on your channel, and I thought that was really cool of you guys. Thank you for the questions, and without further ado, let's answer them. So, uh, Sairi Official asks, "What is your opinion on Black Ops 2?" Well, Sairi, I really uh, I'm not into Xbox, but my brother is. And I've seen him looking through, through some magazines on the first Black Ops and uh, uh, advertising uh, for the second one. Um, you know, I, what I think about the FPS uh, series nowadays is the really, uh, the main thing that's missing for all of them is the graphics. And, um, you know, um, you know some of the weapon uses, but mostly the graphics. Um, you know, it, it's, it's um, really up to the person. Uh, my opinion is I think... I think they could try harder at FPS series, but I think uh, Black Ops 2 in general, I think it's going to be, you know, of course, much better. I think the add-ons are going to be, uh, you know, really help the game, um, bring it out. But if, um, you know, if they make, a, you know, another Call of Duty game or Black Ops 3, if that's even possible, I would build on the graphics and, uh, you know, make some more uh, add-ons to the actual game. Um, you know, like I said, I don't really know much about Black Ops. So, um, yeah, I, you know, you know, better graphics and better add-ons. I mean, that helps any other game. So why wouldn't it help a FPS uh, game? All right. So, um, I make a mashy asks, why did you start a YouTube? Um, yeah, why did you start YouTube? Well, um, before I started this channel, I had a D Squires 06 channel that I started back in 2010, and um, you know I wasn't really on that much. <laughs> Not really. I was on there about like once a month, and um, it, it. I mean, um, I really at that time I didn't really have internet, so um, what I did was uh, just got on there every month, saw what was on there, and um, you know that was it. Um, but just in May of this year, I was like, why don't I just create a gaming channel? I mean, I see all these other ones, and they don't have anything like a review on it, a review show. They All they do is commentaries and um, all this other stuff that every freaking, uh, you know, gaming channel does. Even IGN, even the big ones that are partnered do it. So I said, no, I'll make a review show. So I started out making reviews in um, May of this year. And I made like six in, six in one day. First day I did that, I was like, oh, I'm banging these out. <laughs> um, yeah, they were really small things like uh, 3DS um, apps and all that stuff. I did reviews on them. And uh, they're actually on this channel right now. So if you want to go check them out, um, they're in the review section of my channel. But um, So uh, people were starting to say, um, why don't you make walkthroughs? And, um, you know... Uh, like I did, I started my Kickers Uprising walkthrough uh, last month, early last month, uh, in June, early June. Um, I uh, yeah, started that off, and uh, and then uh, before they told me to do that, I made updates and game news, and I don't think that would really work out, but I still make updates today, and um, yeah, so I still do that, and I still make the walkthrough, I'm, my first walkthrough ever is still going on right now. Um, you know, I'm trying to make a part every day, but obviously that's not, not going to happen in some parts of the summer. So, um, yeah. And, uh, why did I start? Well, I, th I think uh, gaming is a great passion to have. And, um, you know, it, it's a really fun thing to do. Um, most people do it, and I saw the other channels, and they were all the same thing. So I said, well, why don't I bring different, something different to the table? And, uh, you know, that's, that's what I do. 
and uh, you can check out my D Squires 06 uh, YouTube account. I mean, I mean that that doesn't really matter. Um, there's really nothing on there. So, yeah, um, that's why I started a YouTube, and that's how I got here. Um, yeah, and this is a this is a funnier question. Call of Duty most the best is asked paper or plastic. Okay, that's a question, so we'll answer it. Paper because it saves the environment. All right, next question. <laughs> um. Uh, somebody asked, I don't know who, uh, I forget who it was, but I'm just going to feature on here. Mario or Sonic? Well, it all depends on the time of the game was made and, um, you know, what's the game about. And usually Sonic and Mario games, uh, usually have the same, uh, basic idea. Mario games, save the princess, beat Bowser. Sonic games, save nobody and beat Dr. Robotnik for who knows what reason. I mean, uh, for taking out of the world. Dr. Robotnik. So the, they both they basically have um, the same moral idea, and um, you know it depends what time it is. I mean, late '80s, um, the pixelated ones. I choose Sonic. Um, the late '90s, uh, 3D is coming out on Mario. I choose Mario. Right now, I don't know. It's kind of hard. Um, you know, they're fairly new, and uh, I I choose the Mario. Because I believe Sonic is, I even though the Sonic games have more of a structure to them, as in the um, value of the game, but I, I still like the basic idea of Mario. So Mario right now, um, like I said, it all depends on the time and place, and what game you're playing. I mean, Super Mario 64, yes, the first Sonic game ever, yes. I mean, it depends. So yeah, and uh, final question, I think uh, I got my iPod here. Uh, Final question, it was asked by Shadow, a friend of mine uh, on the 3DS Swap Note app. Uh, will Nintendo make Super Smash Bros. 2 for 3DS? Now, I, I know all about this, so they will. But it's probably not going to be called Super S Smash Bros. 2. Considering there's three of them right now, I, I don't I don't care. Um, it's probably going to be called, uh, it's going to be... It, oh, Next Super Smash Bros. is coming out uh, early to mid 2013 for the Wii U and the 3DS. Um, personally, I don't think they should make it for the 3DS, just the Wii U, because I personally think it's a console game more than a handheld game. But whatever. Um, yeah, and uh, and the Wi-Fi idea is pretty good too. So yeah, I see where they're coming from in that perspective. But um, it's probably gonna be called. Um, Super, Super Smash Bros. 3D or Super Smash Bros. U or something like that, along the lines like that. Um, you know, um, I don't know why you put Super Smash Bros. 2. There's already three of them, and you can't go backwards. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, they're coming out with one uh, early to mid-2013 for the 3DS and Wii U, which I'm probably going to get the 3DS. I mean, I'm probably going to get the Wii U and not the 3DS XL because... I think that's a waste of money. Um, no one has bigger screens, bigger screens, but it's it, it's a rat. I, I don't know. That's why I didn't get a DSi XL. That's why I'm not gonna get a 3DS XL. So um, thanks guys for bringing in the questions. Please subscribe up there and like it, comment down there. Um, thanks for the questions, everybody, and I hope you guys can comment on this one and bring some more questions for the next uh, mail mail. Egg. Um, yeah. So, uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Well, hello guys! Welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag, where I answer your guys' great questions, and somehow something happens, which I don't know. So, let's just get to these questions before I get off topic or something. So, Cyrus Official asks another great question, which I love. I love these questions chocolate chip or sugar cookie? Who wouldn't choose chocolate chip? I mean, they're great for everything. So, yeah. Chocolate chip eats sugar cookie at any day. Chocolate chip cookie is awesome. So, uh, Grand Airbender asks, Can you do can you do a walkthrough on Chapter 24 in Kid Icarus Uprising, obviously, on the highest on the highest intensity you can manage? 9.0. No, just kidding. I might do one of those. Like, do 9.0 in some chapter and just get mad. Well, um, 
I'm on chapter 17 right now, so uh, when I get to chapter 24, I'll, I'll try it on like 4 or 5.0. Um, that's probably the highest I can manage, maybe. 9.0? No! That's the hardest freaking chapter in the game. You got like 15 bosses. It's just so hard. So, um, yeah, when, once I get to chapter 24, I'll do a walkthrough, obviously. And, yeah, that will probably be in a week or so. So, um, yeah, once we get to that, once we get to that I'll, I'll try like 4 or 5.0 intensity. Alright, Wind Tycoon asks, do you like Pokemon? Yes or no, and why? I love Pokemon. Who doesn't like Pokemon? Um, though it depends what Pokemon game you're talking about. So, I like some Pokemon games more than others. Like, Black and White, eh, I don't really like that much. But, like, Ruby and Emerald and Sapphire, those are the best ones. Those I consider the best Pokemon games ever. Now, if you're talking about, not the series, um... Other Pokemon games in general, like the new Pokemon Conquest that's coming out, that looks really good. Um, Pokemon Battle Revolution is pretty good. Pokemon Stadium, that is great. Pokemon Puzzle League, Pokemon Snap. I love Pokemon. And why? Because Pokemon's just a great idea in general. Like in the 90s, they really didn't have a great, um, you know, like nothing great like Pokemon and nothing like Pokemon before. So, when Pokemon came out, it was a really big deal. And I, I can understand why people like, I hate any other Pokemon except that first 150. So, I can see why you like that. But, um, I like, uh, you know, any Pokemon's fine for me. Uh, Pokemon Black and White, I mean, they're, they're fine. Uh, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, those are pretty good. I played those. Um, Pokemon, no, I like Diamond, Pearl. Diamond, Pearl, pretty good. My favorites have to be uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It was my favorite, and they came out in 2005. I really loved it. So, yeah, I love Pokemon. Um, yeah. So that, that answers that question. And uh, the last question. I only had four questions this time around. Colin asks, is New Super Mario Bros. 2 a good buy? Yes, it's a good buy. The, though the only thing I fear is um, it's going to be the same as New Super Mario Bros. 1 for the Wii. Because when it came out for the Wii, I was like, oh, I don't... Remake it for the Wii that came out for the DS. I don't... Unless they want more money. I, I didn't really like it for the Wii. I loved it for the DS. How did it for the DS. That was great. I loved it. But the for the Wii didn't really capture it for me. And my fear is it going to be just like the Wii. Um, I noticed how there's a lot of coins in that game. And if you collect the 1 million coins, you obviously get a prize that no one's announcing yet. So I like how there's a lot of coins. And usually in uh, other, other Mario games, coins don't really matter unless for 1-ups or other prizes that really people know of a lot so I like how they introduce like another thing for the coins uh, to be part of so yeah um, is it a good buy? yeah it's a good buy um, when it comes out I'm probably gonna get it for the um, 3DS uh, wait is it? yeah maybe I don't know, I don't know if it's coming for the 3DS probably is uh, for the Wii U I don't know I have to buy a Wii U first so hmm, I'd rather get it for the 3DS because I like uh, you know console games that come out on handheld Handheld games are just, I think, better than console games. Uh, because, you know, less pressure. I mean, I beat Zelda Ocarina of Time on 3DS in about three days. Thus, on a console, like Nintendo 64, I beat it in a week. Because I don't really like watching people watching me play games, unless it's like a party, like Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros. You know, those are fun games. So, yeah. Um, I, think, I think it's a good buy. Uh, yeah. So thanks guys, thank you for your questions, thank you for your comments, and whatever. Hopefully I can get more questions next time. And I said last time, I hope to be, I hope for it to be shorter. But, you know, five minutes, pretty short. So thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Got a new hat, and I'm wearing a brony shirt, so, um, just so you know. I'm wearing a brony shirt, just for the heck of it. Uh, thanks guys for the questions, and I'll see you later. Bye. Well hello guys, welcome to my TGG Gaming Mailbag, where we go over the questions that you need answered, and quickly. And I haven't been doing this for like a week, because, uh, yeah, I was busy, but I got some of my walkthrough done, so that's pretty good. So, today we're going to talk about, uh, my walkthrough, um, Mario, and, um, my walkthrough. Yeah, just those two things. So, Josh asks, when are you doing Chapter 24 of your walkthrough? Well, uh, when I get to it. But I think I'm going to do, like, uh, what you said to do. He said um, to do Chapter 24 on the highest intensity I could manage. 
and um, I'm probably gonna do that as a bonus video because I really need to do it on like a 2.0 so I don't die a bunch of times and so I don't get mad and just for walkthrough purposes I mean for people just watching it for fun yeah, I mean it's fun commentary but for people trying to get the game done with I think that kind of um, gets a leeway into like not getting anything done so that would be a pretty good bonus video. I have a couple ideas actually for bonus videos that um, I'm gonna do for the game, and I'm probably gonna do like a summary of what I've been doing for the game and stuff like that. So um, thanks for the question, and yeah, I'm gonna do that for a bonus video. Uh, when Tycoon asks if you were chosen to make a new Mario character, what will it be? Will he or she be good or evil? Now I think it would be. If I, this is kind of a hard question. If I were to make a character for Mario, uh, I would probably make it evil. Because we need something other than Bowser. I mean, I've seen the Zelda series bring back, you know, Ganon a lot. But I've seen them make different, you know, just big final bosses. I haven't seen Mario, the Mario franchise do that very much. I've seen the Koopas and all those, the eight, you know, the eight, you could say mini bosses in each of the worlds, but I haven't seen anything other than Bowser. So I think we the Mario series, the Mario franchise, needs a new final boss. I mean, Bowser's kind of getting old, and I think I, I've seen some Mario games that have, like, um, try to do that a different way, not having Bowser in it, but yeah, I, I would, uh, you know, I would create a new final boss. I don't know what he or she would look like. I think it might be a turtle. I mean, everything's a turtle in that game. Turtle. Just everything's a turtle. And um, I think that would be pretty good for an RPG Mario game because, uh, you know, I love RPG Mario games. I think they need more of them. I mean, I think, uh, you know, New Super Mario Bros., uh, U, uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2, those games, I think they're going to be the same. And uh, I, I mean, the Mario series needs more RPG games because so far they have all been good. From Bowser's Inside Story to Partners in Time, usually the DS ones are really good. And I think, yeah, just like Paper Mario, I know that's coming out too, but yeah. That kind of leads me to the next question, which is asked by the same guy, Win Tycoon. Um, are you getting Mario Sticker Star or Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon this holiday? Um, yeah, they're coming out on the boat uh, the same day. I think I would get Mario Super S Sticker Star. <laughs> I, hmm, I really haven't given this any thought. I mean, I, I'm at one point I'm probably gonna have both, but um, I would probably get Mario Sticker Star. I mean, it's, it's tough to say. Um, I am leaning toward toward uh, Mario Sticker Star, though I do like the two-player stuff for the Wii U on Luigi's Mansion. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah. So uh, whatever it gives me. But, um, yeah, I, I really like, uh, yeah, Sticker Star, Mario Stick Star, Sticker Star, saying that really fast. Uh, I think that's really, I think that's going to be a cool game, and I'd rather get that more than uh, Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, but I probably might have them both, so, uh, yeah, Sticker Star. Um, Cassie said, love your walkthroughs, man. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you for watching my walkthroughs. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Only for comments and questions um, you know submit your questions and uh, give your comments and like this video and whatever the heck you want to do please submit the questions at the bottom or contact me on swap note or whatever the heck if you're friends with me on swap note I probably might send you them by then I don't know uh, thank you keep on watching and hopefully I'll have I'll have a new mailbag video by next weekend uh, I probably might finish my uh, work through this week so uh, hopefully that will happen uh, thank you guys for watching, and subscribe, please. Well, hello, guys. Welcome to my TGG Gaming Mailbag. And this week, we have a lot of questions from Sonic fans. So, and none of them are Sonic questions, so that's kind of odd, too. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, um, I'm just wearing one for the fun of it. So, uh, let's just start off with these questions. All right. Richard Killed Kenny 2 asks, Mario or Luigi? Mario. Automatically Mario. Yeah. 
Even for Brawl, even for Super Smash Bros. game, Mario. Alright, Admin asks, what's your favorite game ever? It has to be a Zelda game. Well, that's my favorite series. The Zelda series is my favorite series. No, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll just name off series that I like. I like Zelda series, Pikmin series, Mario RPG series, and um, I don't know any other series. I don't know. This is a tough question. I don't know. Supersonic Rocks 100 asks, Have you ever played Okami or Okamiden? If you guys were wondering what Okami or Okamiden is, I, I've i seen some reviews on it and pictures of it. I, I've never played it though. Um, I'm a, It's about like a dog or something. I don't, I, don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I have never played Okami or Okamiden. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, Meteor Sonic 876 asks, Do you play Minecraft? Yes, I have played Minecraft. I don't play it constantly. But I do, um, t from time to p time, play it. I also found this really cheap version of it called Castle Miner, and I really, I kind of play it sometimes when I'm bored. Just annoy people on there, then get banned from their, from their like, world. It's kind of weird. It's really cheap on the Xbox Live Store. Whatever. Liquid asks, "How do I fly on Modern Warfare 3?" Oh my God! Should just said MW3. However. Um, I don't know. I just told him rage quit, but yeah, just rage quit. I don't know. I don't know. It's so odd. Odd. What the heck? All right, guys. And um, thanks for the questions. And yeah, whatever. Whatever the heck. Yeah. Also, if you can guess what song is playing in the background of this video, you get a high five if you can guess right. In the next mailbag. Whatever. Yep. So that is it for my mailbag. Stay tuned for another Kid Icarus video. Or whatever the heck I do now. Um, and a review. I might do a review today. So thanks for watching. And I hope you, I see you on future videos. If you're wondering what's in my hand. It's an iPod. Well hello guys. Welcome to my TGG Gaming mailbag. And um, today we got a lot of questions to get through, and a lot of people uh, sent in questions, and I thank you guys for that. Also, I got my room back, and um, I'm glad about that because uh, you know I've been using my uh, other room for the couple you know, past couple uh, mailbags, so um, you know, I'm back in here. So uh, yeah, so let's start off with our questions. So Chugga Fan three four three four asks. Have you ever gotten a shiny Pokemon? Um, yes, I have. I've also, uh, I think it was a Pichu. I think I got a Pichu. I also got one by hacking, and I don't know if that counts. It didn't say anything about hacking. Yeah, I, th I got a Whale Lord. I got a shiny Whale Lord once. I also got a Red Gyarados, which you had to get through Soul Silver. So, um, I, I got in, uh, a lot of different Pokemon, you know, shiny or different colors. So, um, yeah, hopefully that answers your questions. Oh, God. Okay. Braveheart Cinema asks, have you ever modded a game? I've never modded one. I've hacked. I've done anything else to one. I've cheated. I've done everything. Never modded one, though. So, um, you know, if you mean modified, I don't know. I don't think I have done. I've never modded one. So, um, yeah. Uh, I've never modded one. Um, so, yeah. Troy asks, will you get New Super Mario Bros. 2? Um, yes, I will. Uh, the 19th, I think, comes out. August 19th. Uh, I will get it August 19th. Um, Pre-ordered it, so I should be pretty good with that. And, yeah, I'm getting that game. Pretty good. It looks pretty good. Troy also asks, will you make another walkthrough? Yes, I am, and uh, this is a little late for it, but I'm making uh, my Animal Crossing playthrough and my Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough which is coming out probably tonight. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys can see that and uh, see what I think. It's a little bit different than Kid Icarus because Kid Icarus is like cut into chapters and this is, you know, not. It's it's different parts. So yeah, I think it might be fun for me to make different titles for each part. So whatever you guys want me to do. Alright. K 
Kid Icarus one 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 nine 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 asks, how do you get a golden? How do you get the golden bow or beam claw in uh, Kid Icarus? Well, um, beam claw, I think you can just get that by fusing items. It's already there, I th I believe. It was there for me. I've had it before, and uh, I just fused items. Now, I've done some research on the Golden Bow, and you cannot get it in Kid Icarus. Um, if you can, I don't know if there's... You can hack the game. I don't know how to do that. But, um, y you, you can't get it in the game, so, um, yeah. It, I, I don't know anything... I don't know uh, where you heard that at, uh, Golden Bow. Also, I, I searched for Golden Bow, but I also got the Palutena Bow, which you can get by being Chapter 4, I mean, Chapter 24 in 11 minutes. So, um, you know, if you try that, I it's a, it's an achievement in the game. So once you get that achievement, you'll get the Palutena Bow. But for the Golden Bow, I don't think you can get it in the game. So, yeah. The Teenator asks, do you have to get all 100? And he didn't finish his question, so. What? What? You did not finish your question, Teenager. I need a whole question. <laughs> Wind Tycoon asks, What was the first Nintendo game ever owned and played? Pokemon Snap. And, um, you know, when I started playing games uh, back in the 90s, whenever that was, um, I, uh, I played a lot of Pokemon games. Uh, no matter if it's for uh, Game Boy or for the 64 I play Pokemon. I play a lot of Pokemon. Then I started getting into Zelda and then Mario and then a lot of our different genres of games. But I have uh, I started off with Pokemon, and Pokemon has always been up there on my favorite game list. So yeah. All right. So to end it all, um, Win Tycoon also asks, if you had a free car, what will you name it? If I had a free car, it would be a Jeep, and I would name it. I don't know. I don't know what I would name it. Um, Josh. I would name it... No. I would name it Drake. I would name it Drake. And would it be a boy or a girl? It would be a boy. Because Jeeps seem like it would be a boy. So, yes. I don't know what kind of question that is, Wind Tycoon, but thanks for the questions. Whatever. Also, if you were guessing, last episode I put up a song on um, the, 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 um, the, the thing. The background. The background music, uh, I said you guys could guess what song that was. No one guessed it right out of everybody. People asked it was Dragon Quest. No, it was Zelda. No, it was not. It was Wistful Wild in the Pikmin game. In Pikmin 1, there is a level called Wistful Wild, and that was the background music playing on that mailbag. So, um, no one guessed that right. And, um, yeah. So, this time, um, yeah, I don't know. If you want to guess this music, yeah, um, yeah, guess this music. Hopefully you get it right this time. And I'm telling you right now, it is video game music, and it's from Pikmin. So that is a huge guess right there. It's from Pikmin. So um, yeah. So thanks guys for the questions. Really weird questions. And Teenager, you gotta finish your questions. It's kind of getting creepy. Get a hundred what? What do you mean? <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'll see you guys next time on the next mailbag, and hopefully I get a lot of questions on that, too. And remember to guess the background music to this video. And the last one was Wistful Wild by Pikmin, so that's all done. So thanks for watching, and I hope you do something productive tomorrow, because it's a little bit too late today. Whatever, bye. Well, hello there, welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag, and where I answer your questions for fun because this is fun and you should have fun too because this is this is all fun all right our first question is from Kid Icarus 111999 how do you get a lot of hearts fast in Kid Icarus? I know a couple ways um one way is to go into the practice area like there's a practice area in the game go into the land battle one and um just hold down A and you'll get hearts from that you actually get hearts from that so, and then another way is to obviously beat all chapters at 9.0 intensity, which is incredibly hard, considering it's at all 9.0, but you get a million hearts for that, so, yeah. Active Subs asks, can you buy me a PVR? No, I don't even know what a PVR is. I'm just assuming it's like a capture card, whatever the heck that is. 
Liquid asks, have you ever cheated slash modded a game? Yes, I have. I said that last time on the last mailbag. Um, redundant. <laughs> and um, I cheated at tons of games. Never modded the game, but I cheated lots of times. And, um, yeah. And uh, I cheated at Animal Crossing, you know, some Zelda games. You know, you know, hacked Game Shark action replay. You know, mostly DS games, but I hacked some... Uh, Console games, Wii, GameCube. Not. Now I've seen my brother do some Xbox games, but yeah, never mind the game though. All right, Josh asks, "What is your best weapon to use in together mode on Kid Icarus Uprising?" Um, you know, it's it's not necessary not necessarily the same one I would use for uh, just the normal uh, story mode, but um. It would be probably Bear Claws. That would be the best one I'd use because it takes out people and hits. And those people, some of them are on, um, some of them that are on there are really, really, really good. So uh, that that was my best weapon at the time, and it it was really good. So yeah, Bear Claws. Um, for story mode, um, probably anything above. 250 would be good for me for story mode. Um, you know, mostly claws and palms, but you know, anything above 250 would be good for me for story mode. All right, and the last question is from Win Tycoon, who submits a question every week, and I love it. And these questions are good. He asks, "What is your favorite part of the year? Winter, because most good games come out in the winter, and it's not summer. And I, I can, I like cold better than hot." Kind of odd. People like summer, but I like winter. Christmas. Favorite holiday. Man. Alright, so, um, thank you guys for submitting your questions, and I hope you can submit more. Woo. So, I'll see you next time, and I hope you can submit questions. Stuff. Whoop de doo. I'm gonna end this video now. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to another TGG Gaming Mailbag. And it's the last one of the summer. Sadly. For me. Dang it. Crap. Oh well. So, let's get to these questions. Colin asks PC or Mac? Mac, because it has better applications. As long as it's fast. But if it's not fast in PC. Braveheart Cinema, Cinema asks, can you do a video with your brother? I've been trying to do it, but he's like, mm, his schedule, uh, he doesn't have a schedule. But, yeah, I've been trying to do one, but he wouldn't really let me. I'll get around to it someday. Just, Josh asks, when does school start for you? Tuesday. And that's why it's the last mailbag of the summer. <laughs> yeah. And when Aragon asks, if you had a free vacation, where would you go? I would go to Antarctica and sleep with penguins. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, so uh, that's all the questions we had for this week, anyway. So, I just wanted to get some channel notice stuff and uh, get done with this video. So, I um, hope you guys are enjoying my Zelda Ocarina Time playthrough as well as my new Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough. And I'll have a review up tonight, so everything's good right now. Um, hopefully, when school starts, I'll have more or less time. I don't know. I'll probably have less time on my hands, but I'll get around to this stuff. So, thank you, and I brought this hat back for you guys' enjoyment. Awesome. So thanks for watching, and see you next time until the next mailbag next Saturday. whoop de doo Well, hello there! Welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag Labor Day Special. And this time it's on Monday instead of Saturday because I wanted to do it on Monday because today is Labor Day. Yeah, so let's, let's go to these questions. None of them are, have to do with Labor Day. Whatever. Alright, GFX Central asks, what's a game? It's it's any type of thing that you play. I mean, it can either be a board game. It can go from a board game to on up to a virtual 
or reality or 3D or whatever the heck you want to do. As long as it's, you know, playable, um, it's fun. Really, anything that's fun is a game. Yes. Or turn you can turn anything that's fun into a game. I, I don't know the set definition for it. You, you go into a dictionary and look it up. The Future asks, what is a better way to become a first, a better first-person shooter player? Well, um, <clears throat> for anybody who's been living under a rock, a first-person type shooter game is Call of Duty or um, any, time, any type of thing where you hold a gun and you shoot it, but you're on a point of view which you're looking at the gun. Wait, no, 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 wait. Okay, you're holding a gun, and it's like you're like right there or something. I don't know. It's like it's like Call of Duty. And that's probably the best example of a first-person shooter game. Now, a way to uh, a way to become a better uh, a player of a first-person shooter or FPS series is to do it over and over again because it goes to any game. You have to do it over and over again to really master a game or anything in life. I mean. Do it over and over again, and you'll master it some way. Yeah. Alright. Admin asks, what is your favorite PC game? Well, if you're talking about PC like uh, Steam, uh, Portal, or, you know, uh, uh, Team Fortress 2, that's, those are pretty good series there. Um, Slender. Slender's really good. Uh, what's that game called? Containment. Uh, whatever the heck that's called. That's a pretty scary one, uh, along with Slender. Um, and Sims games. Sims games are really good for PC, so... That's really good too. Uh, Minecraft, Minecraft is pretty good. You know, my favorite out of there is either Portal, The Sims, or Slender. Those are my three favorite. For some reason, I like scary PC games. Whatever. Yeah. All right. When you're gonna ask what? Oh wait. When you're gonna ask, are your videos pre-recorded or recorded on the same day? Well, most of them are recorded on the same day. Like I do them, then I uh, edit them, then I upload them to YouTube. Some of them I do during the night, like I do one at 10 p.m., uh, I upload the next day because I'm really tired, I want to go to bed, yeah, all that stuff. Like during the week when I do one at probably 8 or 9 o'clock, I have, yeah, I probably up I upload them the same day, but if I, if, I, if I do them at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., I end up probably uploading them this, uh, the next day or, you know, uploading them during the night or just leaving the computer on, uploading them that way or just editing them. Uh, the next day, so, yeah. So if I do one late, I do one late. Alright, so thanks guys for the questions, and I hope I get more next week. And sorry for not telling you guys it's Labor Day, because it is Labor Day. That's why I'm doing everything today. Everything is today. Uh, so thanks for watching, and please, subscribe. I got over 450 subscribers now. Woo. Well, hello there. Welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag, where I answer your questions and I give you a rainbow dash. Whatever. So the first question we got today is from Avatar123 is, um, what do you record with? Well, a camera. Um, I think it's like a, it's not, it's a Lumix. It's a Lumix camera. It's, it's not cheap. It's like on the higher end of cameras, but... To record, you have to have one of those, like, you don't, you can't have a cheap camera. Whatever you, whatever you do, you can't have a cheap camera. You have to go on a higher end or basis, and you just have to uh, look what fits. I mean, it could be different. Uh, the resolution on the screen on the 3DS is different from a PSP, so, or a PS Vita. What the heck are they doing today? I don't know. Alright, so Josh asked, what's your next walkthrough going to be? Well, uh, I haven't decided yet, but it's... No, well, I have to do my Zelda one and the walk and the Master Quest one, and I have to do my whole new Super Mario Bros. two one. So, uh, whatever you guys want, um, it has to be a 3DS unless I get a capture card sooner or later. So whatever. Um, so yeah. All right. Sonic zero zero asks, "What's your favorite gaming series?" Um, it's kind of tie between Mario and Zelda. The Sonic has a pretty good uh, genre itself, and Sims games, uh have pretty good, but they have like laid back uh, for a while now. Oh, what's the next Sims game going to be? I don't know. Uh, probably Zelda or Mario. Uh, more Zelda. Um, I didn't really like Skyward Sword that much, but I hope the next Zelda game really really makes me feel better about that. Um, Gamerman asks, what do you... can you do a Wii game soon? Um, I probably might if I get a capture card soon, which I might. 
Um, uh, I've been a lot. I've been busy uh, for a while, so I might do one maybe, maybe next year, maybe uh, early next year, maybe. I don't know. Um, if I don't get a capture card, I probably can't do one. I'll probably stick to 3DS ones or DS ones. So yeah. And David asks, or David left a comment that said, I think they should make a sequel to Kid Icarus Uprising, and you should be able to transfer your weapons to the new one. Well, um, see, uh, there were two other Kid Icarus games that came out in the 80s, and it took 25 years to make a Uprising, and really didn't take them that long, but they probably, they put the, they tried to put the series to bed, but after probably uh, 20 years or so, they uh, started came out with the idea of Kid Icarus Uprising, and that came out. And I think, uh, no, iPod. Uh, the, I, it just, it's so odd. I mean, uh, why would they try to put that to bed and then five, and then, you know, 20 years later and start up a new game? I don't know. But, um, they probably might end that series. I don't know if they are or will they or I don't know. So, if they're going to make a new one, it will have to be pretty much better than the other one, which... That's kind of hard to do, because Uprising was probably the best game I've ever played for the 3DS up to date, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. So, yeah. So, thanks guys for the questions, thanks for subscribing, I almost have a thousand subscribers, and that is just great. And so, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, and bye. Whoa, well, hello there, uh, you kind of stepped in on my private conversation with myself, but... It's alright, you can snumble in here. And since I don't have my great old awesome iPod Touch with me, I can use this little thing, which is my 3DS, to answer these awesome questions. The first one comes from Wind Shadow. This is his second question out of two, I don't know why, you know, yeah, he had two questions for this week. Uh, this was sent today, so whatever. What Wii U are you getting? Uh, what Wii U are you getting? Oh my god. 8 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte, and why? Well, uh, I'm probably gonna get the 8 gigabyte because it's probably gonna be cheaper, and I like to save my money. Plus, I don't know. I mean, I like to try things, and there's a light right there. That's why. That's why my face is all awesome. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I really don't like like my uh, freaking Xbox over there. It's all. It's all probably 16 gigabytes, not like 32 or 64 gigabytes. So. Yeah, I don't really like getting the bigger ones. It's just, it's just a lot, a bunch of crap. That's what I think. I don't know. All right, uh, David sent me a question. Also, best Pokemon game made, and or best Pokemon. Well, my favorite Pokemon game would probably be Pokemon Platinum or Pokemon Emerald because they sum up uh, two of the games that they were uh, right after. Like, uh, Emerald sums up Sapphire and Ruby, and, uh, Platinum sums up Pearl and Diamond, and those, those, I think those games pretty much are the best, because you can get every Pokemon in each of them, and I, I obviously like the Game Boy Advance style of it, so, the, um, yeah, those are my favorite game, uh, Pokemon games. Uh, my favorite Pokemon? Yeah, probably would be Rayquaza, because it's just the boss. Or, 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 um, what's it called? Darkrai. One of the new ones from the past couple of years. Many people might know, not know it, but it, for people who do, it, it, Darkrai is an awesome Pokemon, so, yeah. Uh, trying to find my other questions, trying to find my other questions. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dem Dragon wrote, what does TGG mean? Well, uh, for people who don't know, TGG Gaming means uh, the game, the gamer guy, which what uh, was and still is my YouTube username. So I think it's a pretty good username. But when I started, I was like, oh, what, what should I damn myself? Uh, something really degrading or something? Yeah, it, it, the gamer guy obviously fits, right? It's it, it's it's a really stupid username, but I I had to do it. I just had to do it. So yeah, my new username is uh, the Gamer Guy one one two two, and that's why I call it TGG Gaming. Um, I mean, the Gamer Guy Gaming kind of sounds redundant, so probably shouldn't name it TGG Gaming. But 
Uh, you know, I think it's a pretty good good name. Now there is another gaming company that's called T no T T G company. T uh, T T G Gaming, which is the tech game, which is totally just around techness, like from computers to hard drives and to games to other stuff. That everything has to do with technology has to do with T T G T T G. I can't say that. Um, T G G is just my just my channel and my Ustream, my Facebook, yeah, my Skype. My Skype, yeah, I have a Skype. Woo -hoo. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. wait, I got something for this. See, just sometimes I have to look all around here. It just, it just, it just, I don't know. Oh, awesome. Okay, Wind Shadow's other question was, what is your favorite console or handheld system of all time? Well, I'll give you both. My favorite console of all time would be a Nintendo 64 because I had it throughout my life. It had the best games by far, except maybe for the GameCube, but still, many of the great franchises you know today started back on the Nintendo 64, which is still awesome, still a classic, and, and sometimes still relevant. I mean, the Nintendo 64 brings it all back. Favorite handheld? It's split between the 3DS, obviously, because this is, this is revolutionary, and the Game Boy. Uh, because, I, I, don't, I don't know... There's the PSP, but no one ever bought that at first. Now people are buying the PS Vita, but I don't think it's that good. And there's some other ones um, that I could name, but, you know, didn't really ca uh, catch my eye on that tension. But, um, you know, 3DS and the Game Boy were two revolutionary things. Uh, the Game Boy Advanced, for one, uh, was the first one that, you know, you had changeable batteries, but it still was all, like... It, it it really shaped the way of how you deal with handheld systems today. And the Game Boy Advance SP had the first ever rechargeable battery, so you didn't have to uh, buy the batteries, plug it in when it ran out, buy another couple batteries. Yeah, it really uh, diminished the uh, thing for batteries. Um, the 3DS, because 3D is revolutionary, re revolutionary today. Um, you know, some things that are 3D don't need to be 3D, but you know. And they're remaking a lot of cool games for the system, so I think it would be really awesome. Yeah. And I think uh, it would be awesome to make a Sonic game for the 3DS, because it's just so awesome. Alright. David asked, again, I think, uh, he's on this Pokemon subject, I don't know what it is. Strongest Pokemon type. Now, every Pokemon type cancels out and deals with another Pokemon type that's either stronger or weaker than it. Like, water deals with fire and rock. Uh, I don't know, electricity does, uh, deals with rock or whatever the heck that is. Uh, but it, it, uh, you know, they all cancel out each other and one's stronger than the next. And there's no set type that's like, holy crap, this is a great type. I should get it. I should make all my Pokemon this type now. Pokemon is smart by doing that, uh, by saying that every type has its flaws and has its, um, you know, has its pros and has its cons, so... There is no set strong. Skype's calling me. Whatever. Line. Skype's calling me. I just had this huge. I was like, oh whatever. So I was gonna say before that went off. Uh, there's no set type, and I think he's gonna call me again in the next. Week. So I'm gonna wrap this up, and he probably just sent me a message. <laughs> Uh, the strongest Pokemon type, my deal, I like fire types, water types, oddly enough, and sometimes rock and electric. Those are my uh, four, main, four favorite. Dark types are also up there because they're just so cool. I mean, it doesn't care how strong they are. They're just really cool. So that is it for my mailbag for this week. Hopefully you guys can send some of your questions next week, and we will have a great time. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so I'm if I reach a thousand subscribers this week or next week, I will have a like big freaking live stream. I haven't done a live stream in a while. I might do one tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. No, no. So see you until next mailbag, which will be next Saturday, same time, same place, same house, same street, same state, same country, same world, same universe, same galaxy, same whatever you want. 
Alright, see you guys, and I hope you have a great week. Bye. Well, hello there, and welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag. And this is where we answer you guys' questions and have some fun somehow. Well, the first question we're going to get to is by Wind Shadow. He asks, what do you think about the new iPhone 5? Well, I think uh, they're taking this step in the right direct, uh, direction with the iPhone. It's just since Steve Jobs died, it, it has been not that creative. I mean, I think he's the brains behind the whole thing, so... I don't know, it, it, it just, it's just, I don't know. I think it's the same every time. I, and I think getting rid of Google Maps is kind of a bad idea. They said the more people that use it, the better it's going to get, but I don't, I don't buy that. I guess that's what I think, in my opinion, whatever. David asks, what's your favorite gaming magazine? Well, they're getting rid of Nintendo Power, which was where I got all my freaking posters for the past five years, and now they're doing all this. Now, now it, it's I have to look into Game Informer and all that stuff. Um, IGN is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if they have a magazine, but their uh, virtual stuff is pretty good. Uh, I guess that doesn't count, but whatever. IGN right now, my favorite gaming place, and... Um, Game Informer, I guess, is my favorite magazine, even though I don't like them very much because I don't think they're that organized. So, that's just my opinion again. I don't know. And Ayamashi said, you should live stream on Twitch TV, which I tried doing that once and it didn't work out. So I went directly over to Ustream and streamed there. But since then, I haven't really uh, live streamed that much. So, maybe next time I live stream, I'll go on Twitch.tv. And uh, anybody who wants to set up an account there, you guys can. Uh, I'm on there also. As TGG Gaming, with uh, the two G's and TGG being uh, lowercase, so it's it's like TGG. I don't know. It, it's it's like on the screen right now. So uh, thanks guys for answering or asking your questions that you had this week. Hopefully I'll get more next week, and uh, hopefully I'll see you later. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet. The button's up there. It's up, it's up, it's up in that corner right there. You see, see that? Okay, whatever. So thanks for watching and bye. Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of my TGG Gaming Mailbag, where I answer your questions because you want them answered right now, right? You really want them answered right now. So today we have ten awesome questions, and thanks guys for sending these questions in because ten of them is like. A thousand for me because last week we only got three now we have ten and I don't know what we'll have next week but tens awesome so thanks guys for sending in these questions so we start off with wind shadow he asked regular show or adventure time I like both the same I mean they're both great shows on Cartoon Network and they're building Cartoon Network up and they're just the best shows ever um if I had to compare them eh, regular show I guess I'd like it better maybe Depends what episode. Give me an episode, and maybe I'll like it better. I don't know. Sonic X asks, what other Mario games will you walk through? Well, if you uh, haven't noticed yet, my new Super Mario Bros. 2 walkthrough just ended, so I'm going to start my uh, Mario 3D Land walkthrough. So that's going to be awesome. I'm starting that maybe tonight or tomorrow. Depends on which one. So, yeah, thanks for the question. David asks, when are you getting a Wii U? Me, uh, I'm getting mine on Christmas, even though it's coming out in November, uh, mid-November. I'm getting mine on Christmas because Pikmin 3 is coming out on Christmas, what I would believe, I think it is. And uh, I'm getting it when Pikmin 3 comes out, so yeah, that's when I'm getting it. Icarus Man asks, Kingdom Hearts walkthrough, maybe? Nah, I haven't really played the Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop uh, Distance. I played the demo, but not uh, the full game, so... I don't really know what that's about, and I used to play Kingdom Hearts somewhat a lot when I was, you know, eight or seven years old. But now I don't really play it that much. Um, you know, sorry for not bringing that walkthrough. You know, look at the other channels; they have, they probably have walkthroughs on them. Like every channel has one, but I, I, I don't really play, walk, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts that much. Used to though. Okay. Ted Jax asks, "Sorry if I ruined your name." Do you play normal cr claw or crab? Um, I have no idea what that means or want to know what that means. Whatever. 
M.C2010 asks, do you like Minecraft? Yes, I do like Minecraft. Um, I do like the cheap versions of Minecraft, too. They're pretty good. You know. Minecraft is Minecraft's pretty good. I haven't played in a while, though. Should probably get back to that. All right. Lee Fluffy asks, kind of like a French name or something, how did you start gaming? Well, uh, when I was really young, I got into, you know, Nintendo, which I love Nintendo now, and, you know, it's like the basis of my channel, but I love Nintendo, and it's, it's like one of, I got into it when I was little, and, uh, like one of the first games I've ever played was, uh, the original Mario and Zelda, I was like, I thought these were the only games, like, are there other game brands? Like, yeah, there are other game brands. So I just started playing those, and, you know, I got into gaming that way, um, by Nintendo. Some people get into games first by other, you know, popular games at the time, but, you know, I got into it, Zelda, mostly, so. Now I like adventure games. Whatever. Uh, Papa Mangi asked three questions this week, and the first one was, what got you into gaming? Uh, kind of goes off the last one. Um, Zelda games, basically. All Zelda games got me into gaming. Especially Ocarina of Time, because I was born around that time, and I was like, I'm gonna play this game, because it's such a great game. I thought it was a very violent game when I was little, and I'm surprised it's a uh, raid. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that was, it was raid E. And, um, on the 3D version, it's rated E10, but still, I it's pretty violent, actually. Um, the second question he asked is, what is your favorite type of games? Usually, um, you know, role-playing games, um, you know, like, uh, Mario, uh, I forget what it's called, Mario, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, Paper Mario, Paper Mario, those are good, um, you know, adventure games, basically, anything adventure that goes off the adventure type is pretty fun, anything that has a good storyline, too, is, I consider, a pretty good game. Alright, and the third and last question I got today from him is what is your favorite Call of Duty game? Now I don't really play Call of Duty that much, but I I might play it from time to time. My favorite one right now is Black Ops because that's really the only one that I think is good popular wise. But uh, my uh, the one I really know of is Modern Warfare Threes. But you know I don't know I don't really play them much, but you know people seem to get into them fast. So must be pretty good FPS game. So whatever very popular one. So thanks guys for sending in the questions and please send in more questions for next week some mailbag. Also please drop a like in the comment if you like this show and keep this show going. And um, you can ask questions in the comments also. And if you and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me. And if you already did, thanks for subscribing. Uh, so thanks for watching and bye. I'll see you next Saturday for next mailbag. Well, hello guys, welcome to the TGG Gaming Mailbag, where I answer your questions, and something like that. So, uh, the first question we have today is from Wind Shadow, which asks, what are three things that make you cool? I'm cool. No, I'm just awesome, creative, and awesome, so. Awesome counts twice. Call of Duty King 101 asks, do you blackmail? What kind of question is that? My gosh. Atreyu Core asks, what's your favorite restaurant? Now, um, I have a lot of favorite restaurants. Um, none of them are fast food, really, not like that, but, uh, uh, yeah, I like Bob Evans. Bob Evans is pretty good, and, uh, uh, Golden Crow. Golden Crow's pretty good. They say you can get food poisoning from Golden Crow a lot, but I never have gotten food poisoning ever, so, really, I, I don't know. I can't judge anybody, but. You know, I never got food poisoning from any place, so really, that doesn't... I don't know. I don't know what that's using. Jamar Gamer asks, what is your gamer tag on on Xbox? I do not have a gamer tag, though my brother's is LeBron Jamie 3113 I think. So, um, yeah, I'll talk him up on that. But I don't have a... Well, I have an Xbox, but uh, I don't really use it that much. I mean, I, I'm almost never on there. And when I am on there, I'm using my brother's. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just to be sure about that. Alright, and the last question comes from Chipmunk Z, wait, Chip, Chipmunk ZHD asks, where do you get your backgrounds? I get them from a guy who is a professional, uh, backgrounds artist, and he, uh, he's, uh, called Phoenix One, I think, I don't know, I think that's his name. 
Well, he made the background, and it's, uh, you know, his, uh, the link to his channel is in uh, the links on my uh, homepage, my home YouTube page. And he makes all kinds of great stuff on DeviantArt, which if you don't have a DeviantArt, go get one. It is the best thing ever. And, uh, yeah, mine's Davey451 on DeviantArt. You guys should really uh, check that out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he makes these awesome artworks and awesome designs and awesome backgrounds all on DeviantArt. You can download them from there, but he makes mine custom, so um, yeah, you have to get them from him. Yeah, but his name is Phoenix1, his uh, link is in the in the links on um, on uh, the, 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 on my like channel, like my channel homepage. But I'll put a link in the description for you guys who want a background from him. He made my, uh, you know, he made a lot of Pokemon ones I had, a lot of the Sonic ones I had, and um, just the Mario one I used a couple months ago, so or weeks ago. Um, so he makes a lot of great backgrounds. One of the best guys I know for the job. So um, you guys should like him on uh, DeviantArt if you have a DeviantArt and subscribe to him on YouTube. He is Phoenix One, and he, yeah, uh, link is in the description below, right uh, below this question. So. Uh, Thanks guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you send uh, more questions next week. I only got five questions this week, and uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Please drop a like and a comment in the, below this video, and um, thanks for watching, and bye. Well, hello guys. Welcome to my TGG Gaming Mailbag, and this is obviously my favorite time of the week. As you can see, it's the only time of the week when I get to wear a hat. Alright, so let's just start on these questions. Alright, so 2000 Man asks, what's the next new game you're going to get? It's going to be Paper Mario, obviously. It's um, coming out November 11th, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to do a Let's Play on it as soon as I can, once I get the game. So, pretty good. Chugga Man asks, is that an iPod in your hand? Yes, it's an iPod in my hand. It has my questions on it, so good to know, right? Josh, a Josh asked, God, are you playing any more Kidicris on your channel? Um, maybe it just, uh, it just depends what time I have on my hands. Um, right now I'm doing too many games right now to probably do an actual Kid Icarus video. Though I might do an online battle because many people have been wanting to do that with me. So hopefully I can get that around and, uh, do it. So, yeah. Alright, Noob asks, how many 3DS games do you have? 3DS games, I think I have, um... I think I have like six 3DS games, you know, not many, but I have the big ones like Ocarina of Time, obviously, uh, 3D Land, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I uh, used to have Nintendo Dogs plus Cats. I should have done. Actually, I did. I did do a review on that. So, yeah, I have I have quite a few. I have only six uh, 3DS games, but I have a total of 18 DS games. So, yeah, including an action replay card, and uh, yeah, so pretty good. All right, Pokemon Ross Rocks ask. Asked God, if you wanted an old wait, if you wanted an old game to be remade, what game would it be, and on what gaming system? Um, good question. Uh, obviously Majora's Mask, one of the big one. Uh, Zelda Majora's Mask came out in 2000 for the N64. I really want it to be uh, remade for the 3DS, just like Ocarina of Time, because it's part of the timeline and it's it's a they're both really amazing games um and i think it looked really cool in 3d so yeah what do you think guys um sh what 3d what you know what game should they be made remade um you know it, i don't know there's a lot of games that can be remade that were on the gamecube and were on the nes and the n64 super nes even sega genesis any sega game that they could remake but you know uh, if you guys have any ideas of what games can re be remade and uh, for what console, uh, leave it down in the comments and that would be awesome. Alright, Zone asks, Pokemon Black 2 or Pokemon White 2? Uh, my brother just got Pokemon Black 2, so I would think Pokemon White 2 because he has that and we could just trade Pokemon, you know, that worked too. Um, the, uh, the better one would probably be Pokemon Black 2, and I've heard many people have gotten that game. Um, but in the circumstances that I'm in, since my brother has Pokemon Black 2, I probably would get Pokemon White 2. Alright, Windshadow asks, what's the hardest game that you ever played? Um, that's hard. Um, probably, uh, what do you call it? What, let's see. It's, a, it's N64. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 for the N64. That's probably the hardest game I've ever played. It's incredibly hard to do. 
and uh, yeah, it, it's really, really hard to do. So, um, it's Toy Story 2 for the N64. Hopefully you guys will get that. <laughs> it's a really incredibly hard game. Any games you guys would know, um, Banjo-Kazooie, that's a pretty hard one, and Blues Brothers 2000, both for the N64, are both pretty tough games in my mind. Any PC games, um, Quop, I don't know, Quop's pretty hard. No, Quop's actually easy. All you gotta do is hold down both, uh, just a bunch of different buttons, so, yeah. That's, yeah, so those are pretty much the hardest games I've ever played. Alright, and Dem Dragon asks, what are you doing? I am making a video as we speak. That's what I'm doing. Alright, so thanks guys for watching this awesome video. And I am um, also planning on getting an emerald and an Ocarina of Time out as soon as I can. Um, and in a review out. So yeah. And also, my f uh, season finale of my reviews is coming. It's gonna be probably the next. There's gonna be a two part. There's gonna be a two part finale of my review. So hopefully, you guys will check out that. Um, other than that, I have nothing else. So thanks, guys, for watching, and bye. Well, hello, guys. Welcome to my TG Gaming mailbag where I do not wear a hat. So here come some questions. Uh, David asks, What's your favorite villain? My favorite villain would probably be Ganondorf, if not Ganondorf. Um, Dr. Eggman from Sock. Uh, yeah, so those are two pretty good ones I like. Uh, Jonathan said, Wii U demo at Toys R Us on November 18th. So just so you guys want to know, when a Wii U demo is coming out, um, it's coming out November 18th. Though that is when we, the Wii U is coming out. So um, Wii U is going to be at Toys R Us November 18th. So if you're not going to buy it, if you're just going to try it out, um, it's there. So I think it's at any other gaming store. Um, I'd probably go to GameStop if it's there. So yeah. All right. Dem Dragon asks, "How can I get YouTube on my 3DS?" You actually can. It's kind of weird because uh, that's one of the few features uh, 3DS would you think it would have, but it doesn't. So I think with the next uh, Nintendo handheld, they'll probably try to work in uh, something like that. It's Derv said, "Love your intro. Thank you." Om FG Psychosocial asks, "Do you have a PS3?" No, I do not. I have a uh, I have an Xbox 360 though. So, if you want my gamer tag, it is on my featured page of my channel. So, yeah. All right, Super Sonic Rocks asks, "What's your favorite hero?" Um, my favorite hero will probably be Link, um, Mario, you know, Sonic, um, Pikmin from the Pikmin series. Uh, la la la. Any more? Eh, I don't know. Those are probably the best ones I choose. So yeah. All right. And when Shadow asks scary story, I will. I don't know if I'm gonna tell a scary story or not. Um. I don't know. I might. I might just break out in a scary story this Wednesday. I could do that. I mean, it's not totally Halloween yet, so yeah, whatever. Um. When be expecting a scary story on Wednesday. So if I do not, remind me. And if I forget, remind me. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, see you next Saturday. So, bye. Well, hello, guys. I guess welcome to my TGG Gaming Mailbag. Only there is no questions this week due to the fact that half, like, my viewing population is in the east and that includes new york new jersey which uh power still out in the east so um there's no mailbag this week actually there's actually something i wanted to talk about this week um that has to do with my logo for the mailbag and um i actually been thinking about getting a new one so if anybody wants to send me their designs or anything um just message me on here here on youtube and uh you know you can uh send me a link to them because I uh, really been thinking about a new logo for my mailbag because I've been using mine since uh, July so um, you know if uh, you guys have a great idea for a mailbag logo or if you want me to make a mailbag logo that is awesome and you have ideas for it um, leave it down in the comments if you have an actual mailbag logo you can message me them um, and that would be awesome so thanks guys uh, for watching this quick little video thing um, like I said, there's no questions for this week due to the fact the East has, uh, much of the East still has no power. So, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I see you next Saturday.
Well, hello guys, welcome to my TGG Gaming Mailbag, the only time of the week where you get to see my face. So, here are some questions for this week, and an announcement. Um, my uh, logo contest is still going on for the mailbag, and uh, if you guys want to send in your uh, logo, send it in through uh, messaging on YouTube, or if you just want to send in some ideas to make my own, um, send in those through the comments, and that would be good. So here's a question for this week. DX Kind ask, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon would be Rayquaza from uh, the Hoenn uh, region of Pokemon. Um, and from games Pokemon Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby. Alright, Mario Bro asks, what are you getting Paper Mario? Yes, for the thousandth time, I am getting Paper Mario Sticker Star. It comes out tomorrow, and I am getting it. I'm probably going to make a playthrough on it a uh, probably a week after I get it. So uh, next weekend, maybe. Or maybe a weekend after that. I just need time to play it and get used to the controls and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to do it blindly. I don't like doing Let's Plays blindly. So, yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, Gold Rush 98 asks, are you still doing Pokemon Emerald? Yes, I am still doing Pokemon Emerald. I just want to get done with Zelda Ocarina of Time first. Um, once you get, which once I get done with that, I'll focus on Paper Mario and Pokemon Emerald. So, yeah. Plus, I'm at probably I'm at my third gym on Pokemon Emerald, so I'm not that far away from finishing it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for asking. And finally, Music Man 1012 asks, "Did you watch MLP Season 3?" Yes, I did. I did watch MLP Season 3. And for anybody who does not know, MLP is My Little Pony Season 3. Um, just came out this morning, so I watched that um, through the hub. So, thanks guys for asking these questions. And just a reminder. The logo contest is still going on, so if you want to send in those logos uh, for me, send them through my messaging on YouTube, and if you want to send in some ideas, send them in through the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Also, check in, check out my other walkthroughs, um, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and um, my one that I just uh, stopped for now, Pokemon Emerald. So guys, thanks for watching, and bye. Hello guys, welcome to the T... Not the TGG Gaming Mailbag, but the Gamer Guys Mailbag. I changed the name and the logo, so if you don't like the logo, you'll have to bear with it because five more months until the next new logo. So um, yeah, so it's now called the T the Gamer Guys Mailbag. I'm trying to get used to that. Um, so if you like the logo, I mean, you know, give us a thumbs up. Um, you know, tell me in the comments if, whether you like it or not. Um, it was not submitted by anybody, so whatever. All right, so here are some questions for this week. Supersonic Rocks asks, what walkthrough are you doing after Zelda? I'm finishing my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, then I'm going to go straight to Paper Mario. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, um, Milky Way 20 asks, are you getting the Wii U? No, not this year, but next year I'm going to get the Wii U. Because they're all sold out. And I might get one for Christmas, but, uh, better chances I'm going to get one next year. Yeah. Alright, so... Ray asks, are you going Black Friday shopping? I am going Black Friday shopping. Um, because it's just so awesome. Just seeing people run store to store and just seeing all the chaos. It's, it's just so amazing. It's just, I don't know. It's Especially in the mall. Usually in the mall it's much better. So, yeah. Alright. Windshadow asks, have you played the Wii U demos yet? Yes, I played the new Super Mario Bros. U um, demo and the Pikmin 3 demo. Uh, those demos were awesome, and they had very, very good graphics. Because it's a higher quality on the Wii U, it's just awesome. Um, also, guys, tell me if you are getting the Wii U. Um, I've heard some people saying they're not, and some people saying they're sold out, and some people saying it costs too much. So tell me what your opinions are in the comments, uh, whether you're getting the Wii U or not getting the Wii U. So, uh, yeah. Alright, and uh, Winshaw asks, thoughts on Twinkies? Now, in the news, their um, hostess is laying off, like, 200,000 jobs, and it's like, wow. And uh, they're saying there's going to be no more Twinkies, but I really doubt that. But there is no going to be no more Twinkies. I guess there is, uh, everybody's going to die if there's, like, a, if, if there's, like, a, if there if there's like a nuclear bomb like hits the earth and everybody wipes out but there's one person left and there's no twinkies that person's going to die because twinkies survive nuclear holocaust yep i planned it all right so thanks guys for the questions and i love twinkies so yes and tell me your thoughts on the logo 
your Wii U, and other stuff. So thanks guys for watching, and bye.